S T. Those are two of the five letters in the word trust. Coach Kevin Wittig's acronym for the Westchester Knicks key to success. My thought process first. Uh, how are we thinking? Uh, the R is for respect. A respect for details. Uh, the U is for understanding. Uh, if we understand how and why, you'll do it. Uh, the S is sacrifice. So if you're able to sacrifice, you're able to do things that you normally wouldn't do. And last but not least is the tongue. You know, uh, when you talk to each other in a manner that leads you in the right direction, that builds trust. These are five keys that teams have to build and pride, we pride ourselves on. And uh, that's why I talked about in the timeout. One player in particular has been talking all year long, using his experience to act as a floor leader. That player, veteran guard Andre Barrett. He did his talking in more ways than one tonight, exploding for a team high 21 points, including a clutch three to break the 87 all tie with 24 seconds remaining. Being a veteran and being around this league, being in the NBA, I kind of know what it takes to fight to get to the next level. So, you know, I just try to help some of these younger guys. And also, you know, I'm still in the fight myself. So, you know, it works out for all of us. Despite playing a sloppy first half, committing 10 turnovers, the Knicks decided that they were not going to beat themselves. Showing that they did have a little bit of fight within them, they had one of their biggest comeback victories in franchise history so far cutting down a 13-point deficit and finishing the game on a 17-1 to run. It starts from the top. Uh, when you start fighting and you start, uh, you know, swinging in terms of, you know, bringing the intensity up, the players feel that. In less than 36 hours, the Westchester Knicks will be tangling with the very same team right back here at the Westchester County Center on Wednesday, set for 11 a.m. tip. Reporting from the Westchester County Center, I'm Anthony Carlo.